Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I'm gonna to attempt to show you how to draw something like this and maybe I'll make it better on the second try. Put a little bit more bling, bling into it. It's pretty easy. If you'll take a just a two point line and go from that center up, doesn't matter how long it is. And then we're gonna go ahead and go to edit and clone it. Then we're gonna double check, double click on the rotation, put this rotation in the center and rotate it 15 degrees. Control D, 30 degrees, and then you can control D all the way around. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna allow you to, let me do one more. It's gonna allow you to curve the lines. So we need to just make sure which one is our clone and right here is we'll get control curve. We're gonna get the shape tool and select both the nodes and right click, turn it into a curve. And then we can click it and we can kind of twist the lines around. Probably the more the better. That's probably pretty good. Now we're drawing in the center of the page. So we're gonna take an ellipse holding down the control button and hit P, put it in the center of the page. You want it about as big as you can get it to get all the curves. So I'm gonna hold down the shift key and make it grow from the inside. Now, all I need is really one of these. So I'm gonna take the Smart Fill tool and I'm gonna fill that in and I'm gonna nudge it out of the way. I don't wanna get rid of this, so I'm gonna nudge it down. Now I can nudge this right back. I'm gonna, <clears throat> You could use the clone tool, but don't really need to in this. Well, you know what? Let's do that. Let's make a clone of this and rotate it on that axis right there. Always make sure you're there. Rotate it 30 degrees. Control D, 60 degrees. And then See, by having a clone, we can make it different colors or whatever. <clears throat> but we're gonna make a duplicate of this, Control D, and then merit. And then we'll go ahead and make one of those red. It didn't really work like I'd planned. Let's go, let's move that out of the way for just a second. Let's make all this red. And then move it back. Whoop grab it all and move it back. I don't know why some of the red is in front. So let's don't, let's don't worry about cloning it right now. Let's control G to group it. Control G to group it because we don't really need it. And then hit P and put it in the center of the page. And now we got all the red on the inside or outside. Then with the red selected, double, Double click till you get the rotation and you want to rotate it where it doesn't really have any, like right there. It's kind of got a flat point, um, but we don't, we want that a little bit closer. So double click on it, get your rotation to kind of make that turn. Now I'm going to maybe make one later and I'm going to make that have a little bit of a loop. Now, the only disadvantage on the way I did it is I don't have a clone anymore. Um, so let's do this. Let's break these apart. Go to object, group, and ungroup. And let's get rid of all of them. But so maybe I could have saved a step by doing something else. But this is the way I know how to do it right now. So now we're gonna to go to clone, double click on our rotation and put it there. Could have probably done this the first time. You know that if you ever get the shape tool, it's because you didn't hit on the X. So we'll rotate it that 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 60 degrees. So now we have clone, you can see a control curve we're gonna do the same thing on this. We're just gonna delete all these because we wanna put a interactive field tool and have it do it all at the same time. 
So we're going to put this one back and we're going to clone it. And we're going to double click on the rotation. Let me zoom in here. Maybe you can see it better. Double click on the rotation and put it right there in the center. It's not there. So I, what I do sometimes is I move off of it and try to go back to that node. Now, if you look, my, my numbers are way off. I don't really know how. So I'm just going to go plus 15 degrees. No, I need 30. I'm sorry. Plus 30 degrees. There we go. Now in control D, plus 30 degrees. Now we should be able to go all the way around. So what I'm hoping will happen is I can take this one, which is a control curve, and I can get my interactive fill tool and interact fill with it and see how what it did. So now I can make that one darker. That may be too dark, but we can bring our lightning up. You don't really want to play too much down in here because I made it too white. So we're going to bring that blue all the way down. You see, so what that did, it made it look like it's dark underneath the arrow. So now we're going to do this, which is still our control curve, and use the interactive fill tool. So if you have it selected at first, you're a lot better off. And I don't want that white, so I'm going to um, you know what? I'm going to put another red there for just a second, but then I'm going to expand this out and I'm going to double click there and I'm going to put a, a white. And sometimes mine messes up. You shouldn't have to do that. If you'll take your eyedropper. Well, there I got a white now. So I got I got a little bit of a shine, so I'm gonna double click again, and I'm gonna put a red there. I don't know why that's doing that. There we go, I can just click on this, and I'll just pick a red off of here. See, that should not be happening. I don't, something's wrong with my version of Corel on that, because I ought to be able to just pick the color palette right here. There we go. Now I can make that. Nope, still not working. I want that red back. So let's see if we can't just drag it. There we go. And look at that, how I got a little shine on that. We can make it more or less. Uh, that looks pretty good. I'd actually maybe angle it a little bit. See how it looks like a reflection of the of the um, ribbon, if you're going to call this a ribbon effect. That doesn't look half bad. And you could, you know, you could still play around. You know, you haven't, um, you know, you still have your interactive field tool on this, so you could still play with it and make it, you know, be really, really dark there. Uh, you could bring this up and it'll be lighter on the inside, you know, more like a true blue. Pretty cool effect. The only thing I would change differently is I would make this have a little bit of a curve to it. It's a little bit too flat. I mean, it does look like it's folded over. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.